Oh hey guys, today we're going to actually do a, a Windows 10 install for the, uh, the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3. And uh, there's going to be a little bit of difficulties because before you start there, just make sure that you do have a, uh, um, a bootable Windows 10 or Windows 11 uh, you know, USB flash drive that has the operating system uh, you know, uh, that that's, you can actually boot off of that. And you do need a keyboard and a mouse because for some stupid reason for this model here, once you go into the buys to change the boot sequence, it, it completely disables your touch function and, and your trackpad, um, which is really odd. But, you know, every model is different, so just make sure that you do have a USB keyboard. And for me, for this situation, because I think I don't have the laptop here anymore, so I remember that with, that, with this specific model, the 1873, um, it actually had a Type-C connector and it also had a regular USB 3.0. So, um, you know, so just make sure that, you know, you do have a keyboard and a mouse. And if you, you know, if you need to swap it back and forth, do what you got to do to get the install set up. So, so just um, getting back to the install, um, for you to get into the bias, uh, you have to, you actually have to hold down. Just make sure that your system is completely shut down and turned off. And, in, and right in the beginning, just hold down the volume up key and just keep it pressed down. And then right afterwards, hit the, the power button. And hold that down until you get into the to the bias because once it does that this is basically the first screen that you're gonna see here and just follow my cursor the best way to follow my instructions is just follow my cursor so this will be your first menu that you're gonna see in the bias this is where it boots into so when you get into here what you do is if you look at the the boot configuration that's where you want to go next so just you know use your uh, your up and down arrow key because your 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 keyboard will still work and stuff for now. It's it's basically after you make the change, that's where you lose function of your your keyboard and your trackpads. So for now, just use the up and down arrow key and just move yourself down to the boot configuration option there, which you'll actually see here. So um, as you can see, I've already plugged in my USB, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, Windows 10, you know, flash drive for for the uh, to do this install. So you can see it right here. So all you have to do is in this menu. Just literally drag this and move it right up to the top. And then once you've done that, this is what you should see once you've done that. Then once you've actually done that, just scroll, uh, uh, move down to the exit option there at the bottom, at the bottom left, and just click on restart now. And once you the system restart, it'll actually automatically boot into your Windows 10. And as you can see here, um, you know all you do is just click on next, and then this will be the next menu that you see here. And, uh, and then you click on the uninstall now, you know, step by step, accept the, the licensing terms for the Microsoft and then click on next afterwards. And then this here, don't go to choose upgrade. Um, if you're doing a new install Windows 10, like what I'm doing for my customer, because he had a hard time doing it, um, just choose the custom install. And this is what you're gonna see. Um, you're gonna see a bunch of partitions that he actually had previously because what he's doing with this system here, he's basically, um, handing it over to his daughter and he's not keeping it where he just wanted to delete all of his you know personal stuff and everything else that he's already backed up so he didn't need any data from here so remember with each partition that you see here all you do is select one by one and just delete them all and then once you've done that um, you, you're gonna end up seeing this you know because he only has a 250 gig SSD so once you remember so once you choose each partition by partition by deleting it you will actually end up with just one and then when you have this one here, you just go to the new, click on the new, and then you just create the new hard drive, and then it'll actually show you the partition, and then you just click on next afterwards to do the install. And this is what you should see afterwards. And just keep in mind that once you do get down to the finishing up, you're gonna be prompted to to you know to t to press any key to do the reboot, a uh, reboot I think, which is about 10 seconds. So just remember that once you do see this here, you know, um, yeah, which it is uh, 10 seconds. Once you do see that, you know, once you click on restart, if when the screen blanks out, just remember to pull uh, to take out your USB, uh, your Windows 10 flash drive, because uh, in in some cases, what it'll actually do is it'll actually reattempt the new installation again, and you're gonna you're gonna run into a Windows 10 loop. So to avoid that, just make sure that you once you click on restart, you see a blank screen, just you know, just unplug your your Windows 10 flash drive, and then it'll actually continue on its own. And the uh, the one thing with this too, because um, this is the other problem that you're going to run into, you know, when you see here, um, I'm going to provide a link for you guys to go to uh, Microsoft's website to download this executable, you know, uh, file 
that will act, which contains all of the drivers for this motherboard. Because when you're going to uh, through the end stage setups of this Windows 10, it's not going to allow you to connect to the internet because the drivers for your wireless adapter hasn't been installed, so it you know so you can't connect. So if you do have another desktop, you will also need a desktop or another laptop for you to download the drivers from the link I'll actually provide you in the in the comments. And just remember that you just follow that link, download the drivers, put it into a flash drive, and then plug it into your system and then just execute that file and install all of the drivers for it and do the Windows update. And I can guarantee you 100% it'll actually install all of the drivers for you. Um, after the reboot, it will take about 15 minutes, give or take when it's doing the Windows update because it's installing the drivers for your peripherals which is your motherboard, your USB ports, everything else um, and uh, if it does take more than a half an hour to 45 minutes you know I, I've done this many times I know that the drivers, the updates have already been completed sometimes you just have to do a, a hard shutdown by just holding down the power button just to reset the system because I had to do it with this because I think I gave it about 45 minutes and it wasn't going anywhere and I knew it wasn't going to take that long because after I executed the file, most of the drivers have already been installed, and I knew that with a new update for Windows 10, it, it, it's not gonna. It doesn't usually take that long for it to to do the completion on the update. So, and I knew that, you know, it, it's okay to do the the, uh, the the force shutdown by holding down the power button. And in such, this situation here, you will have to do that. You know, so once you boot back into Windows, um, um, this is basically going back to that file that you will be downloading. This is what it looks like here. So just remember, just double click on it and execute it. Okay. I kind of forgot to go back to the uh, the step by step. And you know, once you this is before installing the drivers. This is what your device manager will look like. And if you want to access device manager, just go down here at the bottom left and just type in device manager, and it will actually show you what drivers need to be installed. And then I've actually dragged over the the Microsoft uh, the executable file which will install all of the drivers for you so you can see on the left side here so as you click on next and continue on with the licensing agreement again you will notice that once it starts installing the drivers these exclamation marks here will actually start disappearing and then that's when you do the restart like I was mentioning earlier my apologies that that you know that that you will you know it'll do the update and do the rest of the install for the drivers outside of Windows and if it's taking you more than a half an hour to 45 minutes, just do a hard shutdown, then there's a reboot, and it'll actually do the install for you. And like I said, if you do want to verify to make sure that all of your drivers are completely installed, just make sure that you uh, go back to the bottom left here again under this search bar here, and then just type in device manager, and you should see it all clear like this. And that's what it'll actually show afterwards. And then once you've done that, then you know you're good to go. Because, uh, you know, usually when you want to make, you know, desktop changes or picture changes in the back of your desktop, you know, uh, you know, normally, you know, your system has to be registered to Microsoft, the product key and stuff, which it'll automatically do that. And as you can see here, I can actually change the background without any issues because it's, it's pre-registered. You know, um, you know, like I said, you know, thank you guys for taking a look at this because remember, you do need a keyboard, you do need a mouse. Because through the beginning of the install of Windows 10, you will not actually have access to your touchscreen or your keyboard or your trackpad. It's just for some stupid reason with this model, they completely disabled it. And, and I don't know why it does that. Because this I've worked on other touchscreens before. And you actually have normally, normally, 99% of the time, you normally have full access to the touchscreen, your keyboard, and your trackpad while doing a new Windows 8, 10, or 11 install. Um, this is actually the first mod I ran into, and that's why I'm actually doing a review. Uh, sorry, I, I, you know, a video to actually show you guys you know, exactly what to run into and how to actually get around that. And like I said, what I'll do is I'll actually provide the link in the comments below for you guys. And thanks for watching. And if you guys have any questions, just you know, put them down on your comments and you know, you know, like the video and become a subscriber because I do my best to help explain these little things to you guys because a lot of other tutorials you'll see they won't go through from the beginning till end and give you the problems what you can run into this is why i do that because i used to teach a long time ago when it comes to uh you know doing computer repair and stuff because i used to also manage a computer store um so you know like i said you know like and comment and you know subscribe and you know just look for more videos to come have a good weekend guys